Hi, we just sang the song New Phone and we talked about Marta's feelings in the song. Now I'm going to read you a story called Grandma Blanca's Blackout Barbecue and we're going to talk about the different characters and the feelings they have throughout the story. Share a story. Who's in the story? There's Mama, Grandma Blanca, Clara, Anita, Sophia. What is the story about? A backyard barbecue. Grandma Blanca, Anita, and Mama have been waiting all day for their guests. The storm is getting pretty bad out there, Mama said. Anita yelped in fear as the thunder crashed loudly. They're here, they're here, she cried. She ran to the door and threw it open. Wow, would you look at this character? Covering her ears because of the noise. That makes me think that character's scared. Anita's cousin bolted out of the car and ran towards the house. Anita, she yelled. Sophia, I'm so happy. I thought you'd never get here. Okay, let's pause. How does Anita, Anita and Sophia feel about seeing each other? Hmm, good, they feel happy and excited. How can you tell? One way you can tell is they're running towards each other. They're so excited. I know, I kept checking the D GPS to make sure mom wasn't going the wrong way. It took forever to get here with all the rain. We were fine. The only map tool I need is my memory, Aunt Clara said. I don't need a new fancy gadget. My girls, Grandma Blanca said. She swept Anita and Sophia in a huge hug because she loved them so much. Come on, Grandma, Anita said anxiously. I've got things to show Sophia. Those two, Mom laughed. You'd think they'd run out of things to talk about with all the emailing they do. Any granddaughter of mine is sure to have plenty to say, Grandma Blanca said. Ah, Anita cried. My game. Mama, the computer turned off. I was showing Sophia how to play, and I was winning, Anita said as she stamped her feet. Hmm. When you stomp your feet, that means you're very mad and angry. The storm must have knocked the power out, honey. Don't worry, it'll probably be back on soon, Mama said. So without technology, they can't use the computer and play their game. And that's why she stomped her feet. She was so upset that she couldn't play her game. So without the power, let's see what else they can't do without technology. The TV won't turn on, cried Anita. I'm bored. Why don't you read a book, Aunt Clara suggested. Can't. Mom, Sophia sighed, my e-reader's batteries died in the car. It's easy to read an actual book, Aunt Clara said, smiling at her daughter. This was my favorite book when I was little, Aunt Clara said. She began to read it to Anita and Sophia. They all took turns reading and acting out the parts. Grandma Blanca was the best prince. The storm had ended by the next morning, but the power was still off. The power company said it could be out until Thursday. The food is going to spoil in the refrigerator, Mama yelled. Three days without power, Anita and Sophia groaned. Can we go out to eat in a restaurant, Anita begged. Okay, so let's see. How do Anita and Sophia feel about the power being out? So they said, three days without power, Anita and Sophia groaned. Groaned is like, ugh. The worst thing that could happen to them. Can we go out to eat to a restaurant, Anita begged? What does that show you? Are they happy? No, they're upset. Hmm. Can you think of reasons why they might be upset that the power's out? What couldn't they do before? They couldn't play their computer game or read a book on their e-reader. So that made them upset. Would it make you upset if you couldn't play your computer game? Probably. No one is going anywhere, Grandma Blanca said. How do you think people ate all those years before Ben Franklin and fancy cooking machines, huh? Go invite the neighbors to Grandma Blanca's blackout barbecue. Tell them to bring whatever food they have that could spoil, yelled Grandma Blanca. The girls raced out of the house. They were so excited. Soon, people were coming from all directions to the barbecue. 
Clara and Grandma Blanca grilled all of the wonderful food the neighbors had brought. You could smell the hamburgers down the block. Mario from across the street played his guitar. People sang along. Mr. Sierra took Grandma's hand and spun her around the yard, dancing like they were in a huge ballroom. Everyone laughed and ate as the sun slowly sank. Hmm, how does it look like the characters are feeling now? They all look like they're enjoying themselves, right? They're smiling. Just as it was getting too dark to see, the whole street lit up. The power was working again. Everyone started cheering. Hmm. So if they're cheering, that means they're yelling like, yay. What does that tell you about their feelings? Good, they're feeling happy. They're excited the power's back on. Anita, you can go inside and finish your game with Sophia now, Mama said. Anita and Sophia didn't even hear her. They were too busy dancing. So I'm sorry that read aloud was a little different. I don't have that big book at my house. It's in my classroom. So I had to read it out of my teacher book. So that's why it looked a little bit different. But I would like you all to pick a character from Grandma Blanca's barbecue. So it can be anybody in the story and I want you to write about how that character felt. Maybe they were happy, maybe they were sad about something that happened. And I can't wait to read them.